Good morning, dear students. Welcome back to your online class. I hope you are doing your studies well. Okay. In last two minutes of this chapter, heat already we have the series about what? What is heat? What it? Its effect? What is heat energy? Okay. And temperature and its measurements. Which is parameters or scale we use to measure the temperature of a body? Clear? Okay. Hotness or coldness of a body, it is called its temperature. Clear? And how we can convert the difference temperatures value in different scale from Celsius to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius, Celsius to Kelvin, Kelvin to Celsius. Okay, students. Today we are going to discuss about the unit third, thermal expansion. Okay? I am going to discuss thermal expansion. Thermal word. From the word this meaning is clear. Na? Thermal means what? Heat. Energy. Heat. Energy. Expansion means expand. Anybody? When you it will expand. Expansion. Prasad. Okay? Spray over there. So when it occurs, when a body absorb heat energy, absorb heat energy, clear? Okay. So any matters or substance, if it will absorb or release heat energy, it shows contractions or expansion. When it will absorb heat energy, then it will show expansion. When it will release heat energy, it will show contractions. Means both takes place in case of any type of matter. What? Contraction and expansion on the absorptions or release of heat energy. Clear? Dono sakta hai. Agar heat energy absorb ho raha hai kisi body ke dara, to usme expansion hoga. Agar heat energy release ho rahi hai, to contraction hoga. Clear? Then, we can conclude that what expansion or cont contraction takes place in either dimensions, either in length, either in area, either in volume, depend upon the types of matter or substance. If it is solid, then expansion takes place in length, volume, area, in all. But if it is liquid, then expansion takes place in volume in volume okay and in gases also it takes place or expansion takes place in volume only solid it can be takes place in three form in length either in area either in volume depend upon the shape and size of the body we know that matter matter is of three types solid liquid and gas but in case of solid it may be present in linear form, in aerial form or in volumetric form. If a solid is present in linear form like a rod, then if we will provide the heat energy means that particular solid or a specimen absorb the heat energy, okay, then it will show expansion in length, in length. If it is present in aerial form, so it will show in expansion in length as well as in its breadth, length height do not be Agar ye aerial form hai, to means superficial expansion takes place. Superficial expansion. Here, superficial expansion takes place. Superficial expansion. But if it is a linear body, like a rod, all are solid. Okay? So here, linear expansion takes place. Linear. But if it's three dimensional, means length, height, breadth, all three dimensions it have, then like a cube, okay, a cork of iron, so here cubical expansion takes place, cubical expansion, one volumetric expansion. You can say that volumetric 
वॉल्यूम में जितनी होगी और लीन बॉडी है तो केवल लेंथ में एरियल बॉडी है तो सुपरफेसियल एक्सप्रेशन और एरियल एक्सप्रेशन एरियल सुपरफेसियल एक्सप्रेशन सो वी कैन डिफाइन दिस थर्मल थर्मल एक्सप्रेशन हाउ कैसे इसको हम डिफाइन कर सकते हैं द एक्सप्रेशन प्रोड्यूस्ड इन ए बॉडी और इन ए सबस्टेंस और ए मैटर ड्यू टू एब्जॉर्बर ऑफ हीट एनर्जी एब्जॉर्बर ऑफ हीट एनर्जी इज कॉल्ड थर्मल एक्सप्रेशन द एक्सप्रेशन प्रोड्यूस द एक्सप्रेशन प्रोड्यूस इन ए मैटर और ए सबस्टेंस ड्यू टू एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ हीट एनर्जी हीट एनर्जी दैट इज कॉल्ड थर्मल एक्सप्रेशन ओके मतलब जब भी कोई बॉडी हीट एनर्जी एब्जॉर्ब करेगी तो उसमें क्या होगा थर्मल एक्सप्रेशन होगा इफ इट इज सॉलिड अगर ये सॉलिड है it may be linear it may be superficial it may be volumetric it takes place in case of solid all three types expansion takes place in case of solid but if it is liquid agar liquid hai ya gas then only volumetric expansion takes place volumetric means cubical expansion to wahan pe volume increase hoga agar hum kya karenge isko heat energy provide karenge clear so finally we can conclude that what There are three types of expansion takes place when a body or a substance absorb heat energy. What? First, linear. Second, superficial or aerial. Superficial or you can say that aerial. And third one, volumetric or cubical. क्यूबिकल एक्सप्रेशन क्यूबिकल एक्सप्रेशन लीनियर सुपरफेसियल वर्टिकल क्यूबिकल डिपेंड अपॉन द सेम एंड साइज ऑफ ए बॉडी वी नो दैट इन केस ऑफ सॉलिड वट द मॉलिक्यूल्स आर वेरी टाइटली पैक्ट इट मीन्स इंटर मॉलिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एज कंपेयर टू लिक्विड एंड गैस एंड इंटर मॉलिकुलर स्पेस इज वेरी लेस एज कंपेयर टू लिक्विड एंड Yes. So when we provide the heat energy, what will happen? How expansion takes place? See here. When we provide the heat energy, so in case of solid, what happens? We know that by the kinetic theory of matter, temperature is directly proportional to kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. So when we provide the temperature, means heat energy, the molecules of solid, what? The molecules of solid start vibrate more fastly. Start vibrate more fastly. So what happened? Then they will try to move anywhere. So to do this movement, fastly movement, they will try to leave their places and finally result. What will get? The intermolecular space will increase, and intermolecular force of attraction will decrease. Then the body will start expand. Okay, then body will start to so expansion. Clear? How does that happen? जब भी एनर्जी हम प्रोवाइड करते हैं, टेम्परेचर प्रोवाइड करते हैं किसी सॉलिड बॉडी को, तो we know that in case of solid body, molecules are very tightly packed. Okay, so When they provide heat energy, they will start more fastly. Vibrate, they will start vibrate more fastly, and they will try to move anywhere. Means they want, or they try, they will try to move the leave the space from their main positions. Then expansion takes place. वो अपने place से अपने जगह से दूर दूर move कर जाते हैं molecules. इसकी वजह से expansion इसमें शुरू होता है. Clear? सेम वी कैन सी दैट इन केस ऑफ लिक्विड उसमें क्या होता है वेन यू प्रोवाइड द हीट एनर्जी अगेन वी नो दैट ना द इंटर मल्टर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इज लेस एज कंपेयर टू सॉलिड बट स्पेस इज मोर इंटर मल्टर 
force uh, sorry intermolecular space is more in case of liquid in case of liquid molecules something far away from each other as compared to solid so when we provide the heat energy using this concept temperature is directly proportional to kinetic energy this is the kinetic theory of matter molecules absorb the heat energy gain the heat energy and then try to move anywhere so again expansion takes place in case of liquid but it is volumetric it is volumetric clear same same thing is it happened in case of gases okay students clear so there are three type of expansion that takes place linear superficial and volumetric when any substance absorb the heat energy clear students okay and in all three cases means linear superficial and volumetric the expansion takes place means suppose in case of linear expansion length of a rod solid rod is l is l and after providing the heat energy it will increase delta l delta l clear so then final length becomes l not final length l ka usme integral kitna hua delta l ka so kitna ho gaya usme expansion final length becomes l not delta l expansion it is what delta l first it is delta l you can say that delta l or l not minus l is proportional to its original length okay jab uske length hoga then it will so its expansion length in it is still cancel hoga okay so it is proportional to original length and also this expansion is proportional to temperature clear same case is happened or same things is happened with the superficial expansion super phase expansion see here if any elliptic body length and width i mean length and width both don't then its area will increase you provide the heat energy suppose this area kya hogi kitni bad gayi l plus delta l and here v plus delta v ho gaya tab jo provide kiya uski length delta l bad gayi uski width delta v ho gayi so again expansion That is the delta A area में होगा ना length भी दोनों में proportional to what directly proportional to again temperature and original area okay initial area clear same thing happen in this of volume volume में भी ऐसे होगा delta V is directly proportional to temperature and delta V is expansion is volume is directly proportional to initial volume initial volume okay so here just we have discussed what three types of expansion takes place okay in any type of substance when it absorb heat energy from the surroundings okay either linear either superficial either volumetric If it is solid, students, so our solid body is like this. Solid body is, and if it is solid, and what is it say? Our linear is, then linear expansion takes place. Superficial is, area is, so superficial expansion takes place. Volumetric is, then cubical or volumetric expansion takes place. In case of solid, all three. Solid case, we can have three. Either linear or superficial or cubical but in case of liquid and gas only volumetric expansion takes place liquid or gas case mein kya hoga keval volume expand hoga ya volume expand hoga liquid mein aur gas mein okay students clear so this is the a short view about the thermal expansion okay in detail we will discuss its applications we will discuss in next class in detail okay students thank you have a nice day thermal expansion
Most materials expand on heating while contract on cooling. Displayed here are the examples of thermal expansion. A completely filled and tightly capped bottle of water cracks when it is heated due to the expansion of water molecules. Lid of a metal jar can be removed by dipping the jar in hot water. This is because the metal lid expands due to the absorption of heat. Did you know that the wing panels of high-speed aircraft when on ground fit together so loosely that fuel may leak out of the wings? But once it starts flying with a speed equal to three times the speed of sound, the panels expand to make a perfect fit. The expansion of solids is due to change in interatomic separation. Let us try to understand thermal expansion qualitatively on the basis of molecular theory. Let us visualize the forces between the neighboring atoms in a solid by imagining them to be connected by springs that are easier to stretch than to compress. Each atom vibrates about its equilibrium position. When the temperature increases, the energy and amplitude of the vibration also increase. The interatomic spring forces are not symmetric about the equilibrium position. They usually behave like a spring that is easier to stretch than to compress. As a result, when the amplitude of vibration increases, the average distance between molecules also increases. As the atoms get farther apart, their dimension increases. The thermal expansion of solids is of three types, namely linear expansion, superficial expansion, and cubical expansion. Linear expansion. If the change is only in the length of the object, then the expansion is called linear expansion. Let L be the length of a rod at some initial temperature T. When the temperature changes by delta T, the length changes by delta L. It is found that if the change in temperature is not so large, say less than 100 degrees Celsius or so, then delta L is directly proportional to delta T and its original length L. Therefore, delta L is equal to alpha into L into delta T, where alpha is the constant of proportionality called the coefficient of linear expansion. The unit of alpha is per degree Celsius or per Kelvin. Think it over. If superficial expansion. The change in area of a solid is called superficial expansion. If A is the initial surface area of a solid and delta A is the increase in surface area due to a temperature change delta T. Then, increase in the surface area is directly proportional to the original area and increase in temperature. Delta A is directly proportional to A into delta T. Delta A is equal to beta into A into delta T, where beta is the constant of proportionality called the coefficient of superficial expansion. The unit of beta is per degree Celsius or per Kelvin. Cubical expansion. The expansion in the volume of a solid is called cubical expansion. Let V be the initial volume of a solid and delta V its expansion due to a temperature change delta T. Then the increase in volume delta V is directly proportional to V into delta T. Therefore delta V is equal to gamma into V into delta T where gamma is called the coefficient of cubical expansion. The unit of coefficient of cubical expansion is per degree Celsius or per Kelvin. Gases and liquids also expand on heating, like solids. But water behaves in a different way. Let us now see what happens when water is heated. Thermal expansion of water. When water at zero degree Celsius is heated, it contracts till 4 degrees Celsius instead of expanding and behaves like any other liquid above 4 degrees Celsius. This behavior of water is referred to as 
Anomalous expansion of water. Anomalous means irregular or deviant feature. Natural consequence of anomalous expansion of water. When the water on the surface of a water body cools down to 4 degrees Celsius, its density increases and hence it sinks. The warmer layer of water from the bottom rises to the surface. This layer cools to 0 degrees Celsius, thus forming a layer of ice. The dense layer of water at 4 degrees Celsius remains in the liquid state as the ice formed on the surface is a bad conductor of heat and provides a suitable condition for the survival of fish and other aquatic animals.